Hello and welcome back to an academy. So let's get me with myself, Dr. Muskan Chaudhary, and today we'll be actually covering out some important uh, image-based MCQs that are important in microbiology, and they are repetitively asked. So as we know, the An Academy is the India's largest learning platform, and you can assess both the live and the recorded session. You can learn from the India's topmost educator. You can compete with the uh, live T and Ds. Study on the device, and whenever and wherever we feel like uh, the TNDs, the test and discussions that are being prepared by the uh, topmost educators, and you can assess your evaluate your preparation. And one more thing that the printed notes are being provided with the uh, plus subscriptions, but till 11th of till 11th of this month, uh, only with the plus subscriptions, the printed notes will be provided. After that, the notes will be given along with the iconic subscription only. Right, so please uh, do hurry and use do my uh, code that um, scan ten to get ten percent of the subscription. Uh, prep ladder has come together with the An Academy, and as we know, the prep ladder is the India's largest learning platform along with the An Academy that provides the rapid revision courses, and the rapid revision courses of the An Academy are very famous. Rapid vision courses of the An Academy are very famous, where the clinical and integrated uh, lectures, along with the Q banks of the An Academy, are very beneficial. So please uh, subscribe for the icon subscriptions. And one more thing, uh, if you take twelve month subscriptions, two month subscriptions will be totally free. And if you take twenty four month subscriptions, four month subscription is totally free. Uh, that is quite cheap and economically when compared to other online coaching platforms right and for those students who are in the second year and third year can take the four year subscriptions and it is very economical and worth compared to other now for one year it will cost you around 40500 after 10% of the discount and i will request you use my code that is muskan to get 10% of the discount and for those students who are actually preparing for the NEET 2022 can take one year subscription that is for 12 months and they'll get two months totally free. Now grant test has been being provided uh, till 9th of September by the UN Academy uh, from 9 a.m. to 12 30 a.m. specifically because that is a time for the coming examination and it will it, it help you help to evaluate your performance. Now if you find any error in the content you can let us know you will get the uh, desired uh, this quizzes and prizes. Now coming to the first question is that what is it? Okay, so it is nothing but it is what alkaline papton water, okay, pale yellow colored. Okay, and what is the papton water composition? We need to remember that it is water plus papton, that is papton is what peptide, that is papton plus water, that is H2O. And what does uh, H2O contains? It contains the salt. Okay, so this is the papton water. And what type of media it is? It is what? It is the basal media that is used for the formation of all the other medias. That it contains papton plus NaCl plus water. Now, this is what? This is nutrient agar. Okay, this is what nutrient agar. On nutrient agar, what is the composition of the nutrient agar? That is, that is a basal media, simple media that is made up of what? Nutrient growth plus agar. And the composition of agar that is important to remember is was 0.1%, 1%, and the 6%. Okay, so 6% are use used. One is to inhibit the protease. Uh, one, uh, one to two percent that is used for the solid culture media and 0.5 percent for the semi solid media. Q, 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 0.5 percent, one percent, two percent, and the six percent 
right because agar is used for the solidifying media and agar is occupied from where the sea wits that we need to remember and the role is that it is the form it forms the basal media now these are the examples of the basal media that we need to remember Okay, so uh, what is the simple media and basal media that we have seen that it is a packed on water and it is a nutrient broth that is consisting of the nutrient uh, meat extract, extract, nutrient agar, nutrient broth plus agar and we have to remember the concentration of agar that is 2%. Okay. A semi-solid media concentration about 0.5 uh, to 1%. Okay, uh, 0.5 to 0.2% and the 0.5% is mainly used for sol uh, semi-solid media to check the motility of the uh, bacteria, right? So, what is this? This is nothing but this is what? This is blood agar. Okay, so what is the uh, blood agar is an example of rich media that is enriched media. ठीक है तो अपन इसमें क्या यूज कर रहे हैं अपन शीप ब्लड यूज कर रहे हैं इतना परसेंटेज फ्रॉम फाइव टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ द शीप ब्लड इज यूज एंड वन मोर थिंग ब्लड अगार इज एन वॉट एंड एनरिच मीडिया ठीक है एंड इट इज आल्सो एन एग्जांपल ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल मीडिया क्यों बिकॉज विद द हेल्प ऑफ द ब्लड अगार वी कैन डिफ्रेंशियट एल्फा बीटा एंड गामा हिमोलिस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द कलर डिफरेंस एंड द कॉलोनी फॉर्मेशन दैट नो हिमोलिस इन द गामा एंड पार्शल इन एल्फा एंड कम्प्लीट इन बीटा सो दिस वी हैव सीन दैट वी हैव सीन इन द ब्लड अगार द हिमोलिस वी चेक बाई एल्फा बीटा एंड गामा सो इट इज एन एग्जाम्पल अबाउट द रिच मीडिया एंड रिच मीडिया एंड द डिफरेंशियल मीडिया ठीक है नाउ वॉट इज दिस This is also a ये क्या है ये ये heated blood अगार है ठीक है और heated blood अगार क्या है chocolate अगार and chocolate अगार कुछ नहीं heated blood अगार है seventy degree Celsius ठीक है और हमने क्या किया है five to ten percent same sheep blood को अपनों ने heat किया है two 70 डिग्री सेल्सियस तो उससे क्या होगा जो आरबीसी होंगे दे विल लाइस दे विल एक्चुअली तो लाइसिस आरबीसी विल रिलीज हिमाटिन पिगमेंट एंड कॉज इट द ब्राउन कलर ऑफ द पिगमेंट पिगमेंट एंड ऑल्सो द फैक्टर नंबर फाइव एंड व्हाई वी नीड द फैक्टर नंबर फाइव स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द एच इन्फ्लुएंजा ठीक है तो चॉकलेट अगर इज ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वॉट एन रिच मीडिया because it is helping in the growth of the fastidious organism that specific are, are, are required for the growth of the h influenza kyunki h influenza ko apni growth ke liye factor number 5 aur factor number 10 chahiye to how do we get the factor number 5 5 by the lysis of the rbc by heating the blood agar at 70 degree celsius aur kaun sa blood use kare 5 to 10 percent the sheep blood this is important to remember 5 to 10 percent sheep blood where for what we use for h influenza ठीक है एंड दिस विल शो दिस विल शो व्हाट द स्मूथ कॉन्वेक्स कॉलोनीज 
ठीक है दिस विल शो ओवर द स्मूथ कॉन्वेक्स कॉलोनीज तो बेजल मीडिया का यूज तो बस ये कि अपन नॉन फास्टिडियस बैक्टीरिया की ग्रोथ के लिए दैट इज बैक्टीरिया दैट डू नॉट रिक्वायर स्पेसिफिक न्यूट्रिएंट्स फॉर इट ग्रोथ ठीक है एंड अनदर इज दैट they serves as the basis of other media formation for the bacterial growth curve to see the uh, pigment formation and semi solid as i told you semi solid hai so that is we are using for to see the motility of the bacteria and to maintain the culture now enriched media we have seen blood agar that is blood agar we need to remember 5 to 10% of the sheep blood and it is also an example of differentiated media that is alpha beta and the gamma hemolysis that is alpha beta and the gamma hemolysis with no color difference change in the gamma and alpha green color hemolysis partial hemolysis and the beta okay chocolate agar is nothing that is heated blood agar 70 degree celsius that is heated blood agar at 70 degree celsius and mainly used for the edge influenza kyunki usko factor number 5 ya factor number 10 chahiye for its growth now what is this ye apne paas kya hai ये अपने पास एल जी मीडिया है ठीक है एंड वॉट इट इज यूज फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द माइक्रोबेक्टियम ट्यूबोकुलोसिस ठीक है और ग्रीन कलर क्यों है ग्रीन कलर इज ड्यू टू द मेलेकाइट ग्रीन ठीक है और कॉलोनीज कैसे अपेयर होंगी इस पे रफ बफ एंड Tough colonies by mycobacterium tuberculosis, जबकि lepra will show the smooth colonies. ठीक है, so this, these are important to remember that LG media is an example of the selective media. सबसे पहले remember that selective media and rich media are same, but selective media are they are what the solid media's जहाँ पे अपन inhibited substance add करते हैं. ठीक है टू इनिबिट द नॉर्मल फ्लोरा इन द स्पेसिमेन एंड अलाउ द पैथोजेनिक बैक्टीरिया टू ग्रो ठीक है तो पहले से बात करेंगे अपन एलजी मीडिया ठीक है तो एलजी मीडिया वी हैव सीन इट इज यूज्ड फॉर द माइक्रोबैक्टीरियम ट्यूबरकुलोसिस एंड व्हाई इट इज द ग्रीन कलर ड्यू टू द मेलेकाइट ग्रीन एंड रफ बफ एंड टफ कॉलोनीज नेक्स्ट सेलेक्टिव मीडिया इज द टीसीपीएस मीडिया टीसीपीएस इज आल्सो सेलेक्टिव मीडिया एंड इट इज आल्सो द डिफरेंशियल मीडिया क्योंकि कलर चेंज विल चेंजेस टू व्हाट येलो by the vibro cholera and it is used for the uh, uh, to see the sucrose fermentation by the vibro spe species because vibro cholera will show the sucrose fermentation changing the colony color to yellow theek hai to thiosulfate citrate bile salt uh, sucrose hai na so it will show the sucrose fermentation next is the xld and uh, deoxycholic citrate agar that is we are using for the salmonella and the shigella ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज द पीटीए दैट इज द पोटेशियम टेलोराइट अगर बाय द रिडक्शन ऑफ द सोडियम पोटेशियम वी आर यूजिंग फॉर व्हाट द कॉर्नी बैक्टीरियम डिप्थीरिया ठीक है फॉर द पोटेशियम टेलोराइट वी आर यूजिंग फॉर द कॉर्नी बैक्टीरियम डिप्थीरिया नेक्स्ट इज द मैनिटोल सॉल्ट अगर दैट इज सॉल्ट वी आर यूजिंग फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ व्हाट द स्टेप फाइलोकोकस इट इज सेलेक्टिव फॉर द स्टेप so mannitol salt agar is what selective as well differential media because color will changes to yellow and what is the indicator phenol red is the indicator okay next is the mcconkey agar we know that it is a differential media but also selective media and mcconkey agar the colony will appear pink once the lactose fermentation takes place so what are the examples of the selective Yeah, we need to remember LG media, TCBS, XLD, PTA, mannitol salt agar, and the McConkey agar. Okay, so this is what the LG media with the malachite green due to causing or the green coloration and smooth, uh, rough puff and tough colonies. And this is the TCBS because vibro colony they will not appear as yellow. This is the yellow colony formation by the vibro cholera due to what sucrose fermentation okay 
ओके बाय सुक्रोज फॉर्मेंटेशन नाउ मूविंग नेक्स्ट नाउ व्हाट इज इट इट इज these are what the antibiotic disk that we have incorporated inoculated in the culture media or jo culture type of the culture that we use for to see the uh, this antibiotic diffusion test is what this is kirby wire disk diffusion kirby wire disk diffusion test hai na and kirby wire disk diffusion test ठीक है टू चेक द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर द एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड दीज आर द एंटीबायोटिक डिस्क ठीक है एंड नॉर्मली इट इज द सिक्स्थ सिक्स डिस्क दैट आर प्लेस्ड एट द पेरिफेरी दैट इज अमंग सिक्स द फाइव इज प्लेस्ड एट द पेरिफेरी एंड वन इज प्लेस्ड एट द सेंटर टू सी द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द लॉन कल्चर टू दैट ऑफ द एंटीबायोटिक डिस्क सो दिस इज द जोन ऑफ द इनहिबिशन एंड दिस इज द क्लीयरेंस बाय द दिस इज द मैक्सिमम क्लीयरेंस of the uh, micro organism by the antibiotic disc so this distance from the center of the antibiotic disc to the periphery of the zone of the inhibition the distance is measured and from this the sensitivity is measured by comparing okay and the plates are what the plates are then incubated at 35 degree celsius for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes the sensitivity is checked checked okay so the plates are incubated at 35 degree celsius for 30 minutes and we see the resistance of antibiotic uh, by the organism and we see the organism and the drug effect okay yeah. now This is a curve or disc method. We have already told you from the uh, zone of the inhibition to center of the uh, disc. We actually check the sensitivity of the bacterial growth to that of the antibiotic. Now, what is this? This is this ET test. Okay, this is ET test or ग्रेडियंट डिफ्यूजन टेस्ट दिस एपिलोमीटर टेस्ट ठीक है एप्सिलो इज नेम्ड आफ्टर द ग्रीक वर्ड यू टू द शेव दैट इट इज वॉट इट इज एन एप्सिलोमीटर टेस्ट और इसमें जो अपन स्ट्रिप यूज कर रहे हैं ऑन वन साइड ऑफ स्ट्रिप इट इज द मिनिमम MIC that we check that is the minimum inhibitory concentration as you can see these markings ठीक है और strip के other side पे the organism is what inoculated into the medium through the other side of the strip ठीक है तो एक side पे organism है microorganism that we need to check and another side is what the minimum inhibitory uh, the concentration and we check out the values by comparing with this MIC ठीक है and it is incubated overnight For same that is 35 to 37 degree Celsius, but there we were incubating for 30 minutes. Here we will incubate for the for overnight. Okay. Now what is this? This is so this is nothing but moist heat technique method for more than 100 degree celsius that is autoclave or steam sterilizer okay and geo bacillus steo thermophilus is what the 
बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर ठीक है बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर जियो बेसरिस टीओ थर्मोफिलिस ऑटोक्लेव दैट इज मैटर मेडअप ऑफ गन मेटर और द स्टेनलेस स्टील ठीक है दैट इज मेड ऑफ द गन मेटल और द स्टेनलेस स्टील एंड इट इज 121 डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर फॉर 15 मिनट एट 15 psi बट व्हेन वी इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर टू 134 डिग्री सेल्सियस इट विल बी 30 psi प्रेशर ओके एंड फॉर 3 मिनट्स तो ऑटोक्लेव इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ द मॉइसेस टेक्निक एंड uh the temperature we have seen now components when we see we know that it is the autoclave lid with the pressure gauge and a pressure regulating device with the safety valve and the release valve okay and this is what the autoclave body now coming to the procedure there are three phase we have seen conditioning exposure and the exhaust for phase no need to go into the detail right now so one more thing is that it is used for the sterilization of the culture media for the biomedical waste management and the critical and the semi critical uh, the spalding classification that we read about the semi critical critical instruments but it is not used for the lg media because it is not used for the glove powder and it is not used for the oil and the grease and lg media and the lofflers serum soap media ठीक है दैट इज टू एल मीडिया आर नॉट दे आर व्हाट नॉट डी दिस इंफेक्टेड बाय द ऑटोक्लेव दैट इज द एलजे मीडिया एंड द सीरम स्लोप मीडिया लोफ्लर सीरम स्लोप मीडिया ठीक है नाउ there are two types one is the horizontal and the vertical horizontal is mainly for the biomedical waste management and for what the large hospitals and the laboratories while vertical is used for the small areas okay this advantage is uh, nothing but it can cause the corrosion and it is a moisture technique to moisture technique se moisture se corrosion ho sakta hai damage the sterilization control we have seen and we what use the we use the bovisdic uh, test we use and browns to test that we use that color which changes from red to green when the disinfection has been done this is what this is microwave okay this is what hot air oven or this is a hot air oven ठीक है एंड वी नीड टू रिमेम्बर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द हॉट एयर ओवन दैट इज वन सेवेंटी वन सिक्सटी एंड वन फिफ्टी ठीक है अगर वन सेवेंटी अपन कितने देर के लिए यूज करेंगे वो वन आर फोर टू आर फोर टू एंड हाफ आर ठीक है रिमेम्बर दिस टेम्परेचर वेरिएशन एंड बेसिलस के ट्रोफियस ठीक है और बेसिलस सबटेलिस इज वॉट इज द बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर के अलावा क्लोस्ट्रीडियम टिटनिस स्पोर्स आर आल्सो द बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर फॉर द हॉट एयर ओवन एंड द स्पेसिलस ए ट्रोफियस वाज आल्सो द बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर ठीक है फॉर व्हाट फॉर द प्लाज्मा स्टेरिलाइजेशन नाउ कमिंग टू द dry heat hot air oven we have seen the temperature range we have seen and the spores of the bacillus atrophius or bacillus uh, subtilis or the clostridium kidney spores now coming to next is what this is what similar to that of <clears throat> similar to that of the bullet so it is what bullet shape virus okay we get bullet shape virus that is what that is the rabies virus okay and they are what showing the spike like papillomas at the outer surface spike like papillomas and this is nothing but the bullet shape virus or the rabies virus okay now 
ऑल द आर एन ए वायरस ठीक है दे हैव वॉट द सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए लेकिन रियो वायरस इज एन एक्सेप्शन दैट इज हैविंग द डबल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए तो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस वन एक्सेप्शन now when we talk about some few points of the uh, we'll talk about the few important points of uh, rna virus and the dna virus so this is what rabies virus with the bullet shaped spike like uh, papillomas at the periphery at the outer surface we'll talk some important point that what are the examples of the dna virus and how we remembered it that dna is happy अनादर पी इज फोर पार्वो वायरस पैपिलोमा वायरस and by uh, this this y is nothing and one more p that is the polyoma virus okay okay it that is dna is happy that is hepadena herpes adeno pox parvo papilloma and polyoma but we have to remember one thing that what is the largest virus it is the pox virus amongst all the viruses the largest virus is the pox virus and how we remember that the pox virus having extra x factor it is the largest virus and one more thing is that ki all dna virus are double stranded uh dna theek hai jitne bhi dna virus hai sab double stranded hai lekin which virus is is a single stranded so that is the par virus and how we remember this ki rna virus are single stranded that is parvo is having r that is similar to that the rna virus it is the single stranded dna okay now all our dna virus are linear lekin exception kya hai except papilloma polyoma or Prepared DNA virus, ठीक है? और all our icosa hydral, लेकिन exception क्या हो गया? Not pox virus, ठीक है? All replicate in where in nucleus, but not pox virus. ठीक है? How we remember this? कि pox virus के पास क्या होता है? Extra X factor है. It is the largest virus, ठीक है? एंड वी रिमेम्बर डेट की पॉक्स वायरस बहुत बड़ा है तो सिर्फ न्यूक्लियस में तो आएगा नहीं तो सिर्फ न्यूक्लियस में रेप्लीकेट नहीं करेगा इट विल रेप्लीकेट पार्शली इन द साइटोप्लाज्म पार्शली इन द दिस न्यूक्लियस सो दिस इज हाउ वी रिमेम्बर एंड अनदर थिंग इज अ पॉक्स वायरस सच अ लार्ज वायरस सो इट्स शेप विल नॉट बी द आइकोजा हैड यू लाइक टू अदर डी एन ए वायरसेस ठीक है इट इज अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड शेप एंड नॉट एन आइकोजा हैड सो पॉक्स वायरस इज एन एक्सेप्शन देयर एज वेल नाउ कमिंग टू RNA virus that we need to remember, ठीक है तो सबसे पहले अपन बात करेंगे सेगमेंटेड आर एन ए वायरस सेगमेंटेड आर एन ए वायरस हाउ वी रिमेंबर दैट इट इज वॉट फोर ठीक है एंड दैट इज द बी फोर बूनिया ऑर्थोमिक्सो वायरस ए फोर एर एना वायरस and r4 rio virus theek okay? hai that is bore next is that naked virus to so, naked virus ka se yaad kya tha naked C cpr is done naked theek okay? hai so that is a naked rna virus c stands for calci virus p4 picorna virus and r4 rio virus ठीक है सीपीआर दैट इज कैल्सी पिकोना एंड द रियो ठीक है 
Now, what are the examples of the DNA virus that are naked or the non enveloped? That is the naked is Parfi from Parfi. Remember that is the Parvo Papilloma Parvo Ox virus, Adenovirus, Tika and Hepadina and the Herpes virus. So, now coming to the next that is. Showing this, this is what this is nothing but negri bodies that are seen in the rabies virus. Okay, so they are nothing but intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. So they are what they are round or oval bodies that are seen in the cytoplasm and may where it is present, it possessed by the neurons of the rabid animals after death. Now next is what this is the petal like papillomias that are present and this is what this is nothing but coronavirus. Okay, having what petal like papillomias or petaloid papillomias that is what the coronavirus. Now this is what this is. Clearly, you can see one is that the dumbbell nucleus, another is the brick shape virus, brick virus that is nothing but what the pox virus. Okay, or pox virus, what the largest virus? Tha? And it was not of icosahedral shape and it partially replicated both in the nucleus and the cytoplasm. Okay, so this was about the pox virus. Okay, and one more thing is that it is the largest and the complex virus, and no, uh, not having typical icosahedral dumbbell shaped nucleus and the shape of that of the brick. So, largest dumbbell shaped nucleus resistant to inactivation, and because it is an animal, just remember the examples of the non enveloped RNA and the DNA viruses. Now, next is what? Next is next is what? It is Filoviridae family. Envelope with helical nucleocaspid. ठीक है ये अपने पास क्या है ईबोला वायरस दैट इज द फिली वेरिटी फैमिली विद द हेलिकल विद द हेलिकल न्यूक्लियोकैस्पिड ठीक है नाउ दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज व्हील शेप वायरस ओके क्या है ये ये है व्हील शेप वायरस And what it is, it is rota virus. Okay, as you can clearly see the wheel like structures inside that it is a wheel like virus that is what a rota virus. Okay, and as I told you, all RNA virus are what the single stranded except the rio virus. Okay, that is the rota virus that is what the double standard okay and also one more thing we remember the mnemonic that is the bore okay and humne kaise yaad kiya tha bore kya hota bear hota hai that we eat and they are segmented so bore is what segmented and bore ka kya mnemonic tha b stands for bunia okay or for orthomyxovirus a for adena and r for rio virus that is a rota virus it what segmented okay ye kya hai segmented और दूसरा सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए ओ नहीं होता डबल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए होता है व्हील शेप होता है दैट इज व्हाट द रोटा वायरस कॉजिंग डायरिया इन द इन्फेंट्स नाउ दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज द आउल आई अपीयरेंस ठीक है एंड आउल आई अपीयरेंस विद 
intracytoplasmic and intranuclear inclusions that is seen in the cytomegalovirus. Now, what are the other sets of infections where the owl eye appearance is seen? That is owl eye appearance where it is seen. It is seen. One is in that the cytomegalic cytomegalovirus that you've already seen. Another is the reed Sternberg cells that is F entire nucleus. It is seen in the reed Sternberg RS cells of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Is kelawa owl eye appearance also seen in the basal ganglia that is a lentiform nucleus of the basal ganglia that is a lentiform nucleus of the basal ganglia with person having the cerebral hypoxia okay so remember this that intranuclear owl eye appearance inclusion body are seen in the hodgkin's lymphoma okay and the other is that we see in the cytomegalovirus and in the cerebral hypoxia that is the lentiform nucleus of the basal ganglia Right now, this is what this is. This is what this is. Yeah, he he have multi nucleate giant cell. Okay, that is the multi nucleate giant cell. And it is what it is an zinc smear. Okay, it is an zinc smear that is the multinucleate giant cell that is the keratinocyte with hypertrophic nucleus. Okay, and where is the zinc cells are seen? That is seen where in herpes, herpes simplex. Herpes zoster, okay, pamphigus, pamphigus vulgaris, okay. So it is what it is a multinucleate giant cell, keratinocyte with hypertrophic nucleus that is seen in the herpes zoster, herpes simplex, and the pamphigus vulgaris. Please remember this is important. Now. This again the same that is the zinc smear that is a multinucleate giant cell seen in the herpes simplex, herpes, uh, this pam, uh, pamphigus uh, vulgaris, and herpes simplex and herpes zoster. Now, this is what the multinucleate cells, okay, it is the giant multinucleate cells you can clearly see, okay. And it is seen in the measles and sometimes as well as in the HIV patients. So, what is it? It is Porten Finkelstein cells. Okay. How be remembered ki measles holta the W cells milti and that is the Warting Finkel Day cells and they are nothing but. Giant multinucleated cells that are found in hyperplastic lymph node and where it is found in the measles and HIV patients sometimes. Yeah. As well as in the Kaimura disease. Just remember the most important example that is the measles, sometimes H HIV and the Kaimura disease. And how we remember it? And May found out that W that is the Warthin Finkelstein cells that are found both in the HIV uh, measles and the Kaimura, and they are what both intracellular and intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. Okay, so they are what the giant multinucleated cells that are what the intranuclear and the intra cytoplasmic now we have to label this uh, microscope <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> this is what the eye piece oh, this is the c arm 
okay that is connecting between the ocular lens and the eyepiece lens that are connecting and this is the stage and this is what the ocular eyepiece and these are the objective lens okay so one that is normally asked is this the ocular eyepiece and the objective eye uh, objective lenses this is the stage where the slide is being kept hai na and this is what the c arm theek hai c arm is the connecting between the ocular and the objective lenses this is the coarse and the fine adjustment no theek hai this is what the this is the condenser and this is the diaphragm with the help of which the source of light the amount of light is entering that is controlled ठीक है एंड दिस इज द लाइट इंटेंसिटी कंट्रोल जस्ट रिमेम्बर वन इज द सी आर्म इज इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेज इज इम्पोर्टेंट कोर्स एंड द फाइन एडजस्टमेंट नोट ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस एंड दूलर लेंस विद द स्टेज कंडेंसर एंड द आयरिस डायफ्राम नाउ ही इज सर वॉट ही इज सर लुइस पैस्ट Okay, so wherever he is, Sir Louis Pasteur, and what are the contributions of the Sir Louis Pasteur? We know he gave us the pasteurization of milk, and once we have read about that, that he gave the fermentation technique, fermentation, uh, and preservation of the food. Okay, and it is a method of sterilization. So he gave the sterilization techniques that were what that were autoclave, hot air oven. and the plasma sterilizers this is what we remember okay and also he gave the germ theory of disease and used what use the nutrient growth for the growth of the bacteria so this was important and he is a father of microbiology so fermentation technique sterilization technique pasteurization of the milk yes one more important thing is the vaccine development for the anthrax cholera fowl cholera and the rabies and the germ theory of the disease uh, we easily remember this ki pasteurization of milk is a method of preservation of the food to yahan se ye point yaad ho gaya fir it is a method of disinfection तो यहाँ से स्टरलाइजेशन टेक्निक का पॉइंट याद होगा थ्री पॉइंट रिमेम्बर नाउ इज द फादर ऑफ द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड गेव द जॉम थियरी ऑफ द डिजीज एंड डेवलप्ड वैक्सीन फॉर एंथ्रेक्स कॉलर एंड द रेबीज हाउ वी रिमेम्बर सर जोसेफ लिस्टर दैट इज एल आई एस टी ए आर दैट इज ए फोर दैट फादर ऑफ एंटीसेप्टिक सर्जरी ठीक है बाय यूज ऑफ वॉर डायल्यूटेड कार्बोलिक एसिड to sterilize the instrument and he saw the post operative infections to be low now robert koch is the father of the modern microbiology and koch phenomena mein apan ko pata hai ki we isolate the bacteria so he introduced the method of the isolation of the bacteria and to see their motility and theek hai robert koch ne tubercular bacilli use kiya tha so we can remember that he actually discovered what the tubercular bacilli anthrax bacilli and the cholera bacilli to three bacilli isolation of the bacteria and saw the motility ke alawa solid media and the staining technique was used theek hai koch postulate i'll not repeat and what is the exception that we need to remember is the mnt that doesn't follow the koch postulate that is a mnt that is a mycobacterium leprae theek hai trypanosoma pallidum and the nizeria gonorrhea okay and nizeria gonorrhea there is no animal model and these two cannot be grown in vitro okay now next is the paul ehrlich that is eh father of the chemotherapy sab kuch immunity se related hai to so, unhone standardizing toxin anti toxin side chain theory of antibody and <clears throat> gave the acid fast nature of the tb bacillus He is a Paul Ehrlich. Okay. Now, these are what these are the gram-positive clusters like. That is what 
टेफ हाइलो कोकस ठीक है एंड दे आर कोकाई दैट आर अरेन्ज इन द क्लस्टर्स फॉर्म Now next is what? This is what? This is this is the bacillus anthracis. Okay, and how we remember the bacillus anthracis? That is that is having the bamboo shape appearance. You can clearly see that is the bamboo shape appearance with the central spores. Okay. Now, one thing is to remember that they are what capsulated, and what was the reaction that we used to see the capsule of the bacillus anthracis is what the Mac Fiden reaction. Okay, that is the Mac Fiden reaction. Because when when we use the capsule will appear as the purple colored surrounding the bacillus. So we'll also see that slide as well. So we uh, uh, use the Mac Fiden reaction using the methylene blue stain. Now moving next. This is nothing but the Chinese letter appearance, or the V letter, or the L letter. That is the corny bacteria. Bacteria. And these are what? These are the granules that are what? Metachromatic granules, or the bulbs, honest granules, or the phosphate granules. Or the bipolar granules. Please remember all the names. Now to see the culture, what is the selective and the uh, differential media that we have already seen? It is the PTA, that is the potassium telluride media, and by the reduction of the sodium potassium, black colored colonies appear on the media, and we have seen that PTA is a selective media. The differential media to differentiate PTA is a selective media. We saw the growth, but why it is differential media? Because color differentiation is helping us to differentiate the uh, Clostridium uh, this diphtheria subspecies that is Mites gravis and the intermediates. Now, when we talk about the Mites, it is what appearing as the black colored colonies and gravis. Kaisa hoga? They are what large gray colored colonies and the intermediates is what the small gray color colonies. So that is helping to us to differentiate the gravis intermediates mitis. So it is what a uh, both a, a differentiative as well as selective media. Now this is what the palisade like bacteria that is the forming the palisade hota hai, that is the uh, boundary if you have seen for the park that is arranging in a similar pattern parallel to each other that is the palisade pattern that is seen where in the bacteroids. Now this is easy. This is again important slide that filamentous growth we can easily see that is seen in the nocardia or actinomyces. Now some differences are important to remember between the nocardia and actinomyces. That actinomyces the sulfur granules are present and that slide is also uh, important because Sunry appearance of those uh, this uh, sunburst appearance of those sulfur granules is important. Okay, so nocardia and the actinomyces. Now nocardia is what an arrow, while it is an and arrow. Okay, iske alawa we need to remember that sulfur granules they are present in the no actinomyces, and we need to remember that. Treatment by the mnemonic that is the SNAP that is the sulfonamides for the nocardia and actinomyces uh, penicillin for the actinomyces. Now one thing is uh, that uh, 
fist. Thyroids they actually show the thumbprint impression. Diphtheroids will uh, show the uh, palisade pattern. Now, this is nothing. This is the fish in stream appearance. So what? Fish in stream appearance. That is for what? Vibro cholera. Okay, and what? Cause the selective media for the vibro cholera. That is the what was the enrichment media for the vibro cholera? That is the alkaline papton water. That is the alkaline papton water. That was what giving the alkaline uh, the alkaline papton water was actually selective for the vibro cholera in inhibiting the growth of other bacteria. Iske alawa, what was the uh, selective media another that is the TCBS that was for the sucrose fermentation of the Vibro cholera. Okay, ye do media important. Thi. Iske alawa, what were the transport media that we remembered by the cave that is the carry blair media. Okay, and autoclave sea water and iske alawa Venkateshwar Raman media. Okay, so these were what the transport media they are important. Please remember it. And TCB is selective and enrichment media is what alkaline papton water. And this is what this is. This is this is the what it is. Is the string test. Okay, and where we do this uh, string test, we do in the Vibro cholera and what is the string that is made up of what is for the inoculation that we use this loop is made up of what the platinum or the nichrome that is the nickel or the chromium. Okay, so it is string test that is used to separate the vibro from other species and they this is also important to remember it is emulsified in 0.5% of sodium deoxy folate. Okay, so it is emulsified just remember this one line that is 0.5 percent sodium deoxycholate and the transport media we have seen by the cave mnemonic and the plating media and enrichment media is apw and the toracolate papton water and the plating media one is the tcbs another important media is the gtta that is the gelatin toracolate triptychase tellurite agar okay so this is what this is the thumbprint I was saying ki thumbprint appearance similar to that of the thumbprint that is seen in the bacteroids regulus uh, this Bordetella purchases okay. so this is the thumbprint similar to that of the bacteria showing the thumbprint impression and where it is seen it is seen in the Taylor is again the vibro cholera. Now, which one is the gram positive cell wall and the gram negative cell wall? That is, this is the left uh, left image and this is the right image. So this is the gram positive cell wall okay and this is what the gram negative and how we differentiate it what we use that it is a peptidoglycan layer that is about 80 to 100 layers thick in the gram positive okay and it is thin layer in what the gram negative is difference there that was important in the gram positive and the gram negative कि ग्राम पॉजिटिव में प्लस का साइन है ऐसे तो T4 टिकॉइक एसिड इज प्रेजेंट इन द ग्राम पॉजिटिव दैट इज सेल वॉल टिकॉइक एसिड एंड द लाइपो टिकॉइक एसिड ठीक है एंड वन वाज द पेप्टिडोग्लाइकन लेयर दैट इज थिक इन द ग्राम पॉजिटिव एंड इट इज सिंपल सेल वॉल व्हाइल द ग्राम नेगेटिव इज व्हाट द कॉम्प्लेक्स सेल वॉल एंड व्हाट इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द ग्राम नेगेटिव सेल वॉल कि उनके पास Outer membrane hota hai, that is not present in the gram positive. Or outer membrane mein pas kya hota hai? lipopolysaccharide. And that is having sub uh, that is 
further subdivided into the antigen on the basis of the antigen that is O, C and A and A is responsible for the endotoxin activity. So, the endotoxin activity that is presented by the gram negative majorly and what is the reason? That we basic reason because the outer membrane hota, that is the LPS in nature and therefore endotoxin is what LPS in nature. And other that we remember in the short trick that is endotoxin with the N that is it is present in the negative cell that is the gram negative cell. Okay. Iske alawa, gram negative cell ke paas diamino pimalic acid hota hai kyunki unke paas pentaglycine chain nahi hoti that is present in the gram positives having the pentaglycine chain that is absent in the gram negative. So this is the difference EN that is the gram negative LPS in nature other than is the exotoxin that is mainly by the gram positive and it is secreted by the living organism while the endotoxin is a part of the cell wall that is after the lysis of the cell wall it is released while exotoxin is highly toxic directly released and since it is protein in nature and we read wherever there is more protein in nature more amino acid the antigenicity will increase. So, it is highly antigenic and therefore can, can be converted to the toxoid and highly toxic having the specific actions. While it is LPS lipopolysaccharide in nature with low toxigenicity, low antigenicity and therefore cannot be converted to the toxoid right? and with features of the fever and the shock. Now this we have already read about just remember one thing that it is the pentaglycine chain is present jab alternate uh, naam or naag hota hai so tetrapeptide chain two tetrapeptide chain will be connected with the pentaglycine chain that is the first molecule l alanine connected with the terminal d alanine fourth molecule that is pentaglycine chain is absent in the gram negative cell wall now, ticoic acid we have seen that is the lipoticoic and the cell wall ticoic acid uh, that is lipoticoic acid extending up to the cell membrane. Jabki cell wall ticoic acid is present on the cell wall. Now, what we have to remember that they are polymers of glycerol or ribitol. You can just remember one this that they are polymers of the glycerol or ribitol. Now, cell wall ticoic and lipoticoic difference is not that important, but egg surface is present, egg extending up to the cytoplasmic membrane. Okay, and lipoticoic acid is responsible for the negative charge of the cell wall. Now, gram negative cell wall, one thing to remember is the meso diamino pimalic acid is present in the tetrapeptide chain that is not present in the gram. Positive and also the pentaglycine chain P4P is present in the positive, not in the gram negative. So P4P is present in positive. Okay. Now coming to the outer membrane, outer membrane is present with the gram negative cell wall. Okay, is present with the gram negative cell wall. Okay. And outer membrane may the lipopolysaccharide and the porins are channels are present. They are also present with the gram positive. Porin channels helps in the transport of the molecule. And one specific protein that we have to remember is the bronze lipoprotein okay that is a specific outer membrane protein that is present in the gram negative is what the bronze protein that is the bronze lipoprotein lps just remember it is what the a c and o okay consisting of three parts a for endotoxin activity c for core sugar moieties and O4, O antigen or the somatic antigen, okay? that is the 
O antigen shows the variability and that is responsible for the various bacterial strains depending on the variable O somatic antigen. Right. Now coming what is 1, what is 2 and what is 3. So, it's very easy. So one is what? One is regularly formed structure around the bacteria that is the capsule and it is made up of capsule and the slime layer all are made up of what? Glycocalyx. This is the irregularly formed slime layer and this is the biofilm. Okay. Now capsule is made up of what? What the polysaccharide and the polypeptide and the example where the polypeptide capsule is what? Bacillus anthracis. Okay. While the slime is made up of, it is what polysaccharide in nature. Okay. And what is the biofilm when uh, many bacteria join together against the unprotective or hostile environment? They join together to form a thick layer around them. That is the biofilm to help them prevent, to show the virulence features of the bacteria and preventing them uh, the uh, damage of the bacteria. Now this is a capsule and the slime layer we have read about it. Please remember the examples of the capsulated bacteria that can be remembered by the mnemonic and one fungus that is very important is the cryptococcus neoformans. Now functions is that they are antigenic and they contribute to the bacterial virulence. They can be used for the preparation of vaccines because they are antigenic. Now no net charge is present on the capsule. Okay, now this is what this is again very classical image that is this is what this is this is what this is capsulated fungus that is the cryptococcus neoformis and what do you know by the histoplasma capsulatum that it is a misnomer and it is not capsulated. Okay, so capsulated that is a cryptococcus neoformis and this image that is the dark background with the refractile white cryptococcus uh, capsule that is shown that is the Indiana, India in preparation or the negrosin stain that we are using where the background is dark and the uh, this capsule appears as the refractile white colored yellow appearance around the bacteria. So demonstration we have seen by the negative staining, MAC5 then where we use in the bacillus anthracis we have seen and what we were using, we were using polychrome methylene, polychrome methylene used stain okay, and under the microscope the capsule appeared as purple color taking up the color of the polychrome methylene blue. This is Kulin's reaction that we use mainly for the streptococcus that is showing the refractile swollen capsules. Okay, and this is what this is a negative stain we have already seen for the cryptococcus. This is the anthrax bacilli with the polychrome methylene stain that is taken up by the capsule of the bacteria. This is the quelling test. Okay, and it is used for the streptococcus. And streptococcus are mainly in the dimer form. You can see the streptococcus with the capsule that is refractile solon appearance that it's seen to detect the capsulated bacteria. Now, what is the name of this test? This is This is nothing but the surface pellicle test. Kya hai ye? Surface pellicle test. Okay. Aur ye kis liye apan use kar rahe for the detection of the fimbri. 
ठीक है फॉर द डिटेक्शन ऑफ द पैलाय और द फिमरी और जस्ट रिमेम्बर द नेम ऑफ द टेस्ट बिकॉज वेन वी यूज द टिपिकल सूडोमोनास स्पीशीज टू सी द फिमरी क्योंकि सूडोमोनास दे आर टिपिकल obligate aerobes and they will come to the surface to get the oxygen from the environment and they will attach to each other at with the help of the pili ठीक है और fimbri they will get attached ठीक है and this test is for the surface pellicle test to see the fimbri now important part one is the common fimbri and the sex uh, pili that is the common pili is more in number they are small uh, uh, in size and they are mainly for the additions while the sex pili they are used for the conjugation tube formation to transfer the plasmid from one uh, f positive cell to another f negative cells ठीक है नाउ दे आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू मोर्टिलिटी लाइक फ्लैजिला प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस एंड दे आर फाउंड दे आर फाउंड इन बोथ द मोटाइल एज वेल एज नॉन मोटाइल ऑर्गेनिजम नाउ दिस इज वॉट दिस इज द दिस इज द पिलाय एंड दिस इज अ सेक्स पिलाय दैट इज अप टू वन टू टेन पर बैक्टीरिया वेल द कॉमन पिलाय आर मोर इन नंबर दे आर स्मॉल इन साइज and they are bristle like that are present on the outer surface stenting from the plasma membrane this is a surface pellicle test i was talking about and we use the pseudomonas to demonstrate kyunki they are obligate aerobes and they will appear at the surface to get the oxygen from the environment and they will attach to each other with the help of the fimbriae now in parts of the it is important uh, of the this flagella that is what it is what first we'll recognize whether it is the gram positive or it is the gram negative okay so we can see four rings are present l ring p ring m s ring okay so it is what a gram negative flagella ठीक है, so it is the flagella of gram negative cell and what are the important parts? Filament, hook and the basal body and हमने कैसे याद किया था कि what type the number of the rings that are present in the gram positive and the gram negative क्योंकि gram negative के पास क्या होता है outer membrane होता है और दो ring outer membrane में होती है that is L and the P therefore these rings are additionally present in the gram negative that are absent in the gram positive उनके पास M और S ring दो रिंग ही होती है जबकि ग्राम नेगेटिव के पास एल पी एम एस क्योंकि एल पी इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द आउटर मेम्ब्रेन एंड दैट इज एब्सेंट इन द ग्राम पॉजिटिव ठीक है so when we talk about the flagella they are monotrichous that is present at the one end that is the vibrio cholera and the pseudomonas and the campylobacter example is important lophotrichous that is the one end that is a polar lofo matlab ki tuft that is guchcha that is present as the spirillum and the h pylori peritrichous that is all around the surface that is a e coli and the salmonella and a for a amphi that is alkalogens fecalis so this is the mono amphi lofo and the peritrichous theek okay. hai now the filament to can the basal body we have seen just remember one more thing to demonstrate the motility of the bacteria we use either the direct method or the indirect method okay for the direct method we use the leifson's method that is the tannic acid staining okay we use the leifson's method okay that is the tannic acid staining and for the indirect we use the craig's tube hanging drop motility test okay other than this the semi solid media because we were using 0.5 concentration of the agar so 0.5 concentration of agar for the semi solid media and the dark brown microscopy okay so uh, there is a power cut and uh, uh, i will be i will be able to teach until uh, i am audible to you just uh, let me know and if not i will okay so direct and the indirect method 
I may not be visible because of the power cut. Okay, so in the gram positive, we have already seen that it is what in the gram positive, it is the presence of the S and the M rings, while the LP SM rings are present in the gram negative, because LP rings are present in the outer membrane. Okay, now moving next is that the bacterial growth curve. Okay, what we need to remember is that ki lag phase, log phase, stationary phase and the death phase. Now lag phase is the phase where the uh, metabolism of the bacteria will increase. Therefore, only size will increase. Okay, so if size will increase in the lag phase, neither the total count will increase, neither the viable count will increase. Now next is the log phase or the exponential phase. You can see a straight line. Now this is shows what this shows the continuous multiplication exponentially of the bacteria. That is the viable count will increase and also the total count will increase. Okay, now next is what the stationary phase that is S for S we remember that is a sporulation will take place because now the nutrition has ended and will bacteria will move to the number of the viable bacteria will be equal to the number of the dead bacteria and they will start to sporulate. So this is S for S that is the sporulation phase or the stationary phase. Okay, now next is the death phase or the decline phase that is the total viable count or total count will increase although but the viable count will decrease and the dead count will increase and the inulation will take place so this was the basic uh the that is the lag phase no increase only the size will increase log phase will increase the number stationary stationary phase mein jayega, that is equal of dead and viable and death mein, dead cells will be more now what are the factors that affecting growth will not uh, Go into detail right now. Now, another important image is that what is it showing? What type of genetic transfer it is? It is the horizontal genetic transfer. Okay, and what what is it? It is what transformation. It is what it is nothing but transformation. Okay, transformation में क्या होता है कि जो bacteria that is about to die will release its DNA content into the environment freely and these free DNA content that will be taken by the adjacent bacteria but only by those bacteria that are competent. Okay? That is having the competent factors only they will be able to take the DNA content from the surrounding material or uh, surrounding. Okay? And these are called the competent bacteria and they will horizontally will be transferred and later will be transferred to their offsprings. Okay? Now, Competency was first of all demonstrated by the scientists we need to remember is the Griffith on the pneumococcal strain and he saw when a mixture of the life non-capsulated that is the smooth uh, rough strain and the smooth dead smooth strain were given together the mice died because there was transformation taking place that is a transfer of the genetic material from virulent strain to non-virulent strain. So this was the Griffith stain and on the pneumococcal it was taking place. So you can see when you have living smooth strain dali, that is virulent, mice died. When we have living R cell dali, that is a rough strain or the non-virulent strain, the mice was healthy. But when you have heated smooth cell or heated apnone, a violent strain dali, then also mice was healthy. Because uh, heat kills what the violence, uh, fact, violence of the bacteria. Now when we gave the mixture of the rough cell, that is a uh, known virulent cells and the dead viral cells some genetic transfer has taken place and because of that the colonies uh, the uh, bacteria actually died Okay, so this was it for today's session and please do use my code that is MUSKAN10 to get the 
टेन परसेंट ऑफ द डिस्काउंट राइट ऑन द नीट फी सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग इज दैट इफ यू टेक द सब्सक्रिप्शन बिफोर इलेवेंथ ऑफ द सेप्टेम्बर यू विल बी एबल टू गेट द नोट्स प्रिंटेड नोट्स विद द प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन बिकॉज आफ्टर इलेवेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर द नोट्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑनली विद द आईकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन राइट सो डू कीप दिस इन माइंड बिकॉज आफ्टर इलेवेंथ द दिस प्रिंटेड नोट्स डोंट बी अवेलेबल विद द प्लस दे विल बी अवेलेबल ऑनली विद द iconic subscriptions and please do use my code that is muskan 10 to get 10% of discount and the exam is over the head and please uh don't stop reading and read something and relax because this is not the time to re, uh, to learn new thing this is time to actually relax your mind so that you won't actually panic in the examination and will be able to perform good okay reach the center at the time and have a light breakfast and a good sleep before the examination so all the best to you guys see you in the next session that will be the rest of the images and the next session we will long because only image based session i am taking only two sessions one session i have covered uh, half of the images the rest of the images from the systemic bacteriology and the uh, fungus and the parasites will be covered so that session will be a bit long so thank you Take care and.